Okay, hello, and welcome back. 50 questions Mormons can't answer. Answered. We are here in the Shaojun. It's getting to be quite a night out there. So we move on to our next question. And, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think we... No, no, we did this one last time. Okay, we are on this one, looking back at into lovely Victorian London at night. And we are on question 38. So... It asks, why does the LDS Church teach that Jesus paid for our sins in the Garden of Gethsemane when 1 Peter 2.24 says it was on the cross? So reading 1 Peter uh, 2.24, here we are. It says, who is who his own self bear our sins in his body on the tree that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed stripes should that be strips yeah in, either way yes so it, it does it doesn't specifically say cross it says on the tree and um our belief is a little more com complex than than they're kind of making it out to be so yes we believe it was when he prayed in the garden of gethsemane throughout the night we believe that was when christ took him took upon himself the sin of the world, sins of the world, and did part of it, and then the the entire thing, being taken, whipped, scour scourged, put on trial, eventually being crucified, was still a part of it, albeit not the part where he takes upon the sins of the world. So, um, I, I think the scripture does actually leave a little bit of doubt when it says on the tree um many of the uh, paintings and visuals i've seen uh depicting it shows christ praying while leaning against a tree so i i would say the scripture is a little is open to a bit of debate about the interpretation they've given on it um i don't I'm using the King James Version. It might be different in different versions of the scripture. I don't think it definitively says that Christ paid for our sins uh, while on the cross. That being said, the final part of paying for our sins, we believe, happened after he, at, you know, his crucifixion uh, was a part of paying for, for the sins of the world, being crucified, being sacrificed for the world was a part of it, just not specifically the part where he takes upon himself uh, the sins of the world. So, like I said, it, 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 the scripture's open to interpretation, and that being said, crucifixion was a part of him taking on the sins of the world, even though it wasn't specifically when he took on the sins of the world, if that makes sense. So it's, it, it, this is, I, I think this question's down to a lot of interpretation, as are a few of the other questions uh, that were asked, but yeah, I think, I think a lot of times we get caught up in the minutia and details and we forget the important bit, which is Christ took upon himself the sins of the world. He paid for our sins. And now it's, what are we going to do with that? Are we going to repent? Are we going to come to Christ? Or are we just going to ignore it? And I think that's the most important takeaway from what happened there. Anyway, uh, that's the video. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.